that's like crazy, right? I mean, it's not, it's not just me. That's like crazy. Yes. Okay. So while he catches his breath, okay, let's thank all of our musicians, all of our visual artists, all of our, all of our dancers and photographers, and I'll give them a quick shout out at the end so we can have proper credits. Of course, those are very necessary. Yeah. But just a quick little applause while we wrap it up. Our guest of honor today is Daniel Pontet. He is from Uruguay. And before I keep going, can, can you like not cover your painting there? Don't, can we, hello? Yes. Okay. okay, you can go back and cover it. That's fine now, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about Daniel so that you can kind of get to know him a little bit and we're gonna pick his brain and ask him some questions while he wraps up. How many of you thought this was insane? I know, right? Okay. So, award-winning multimedia artist Daniel Pontet has ignited South Florida's cultural scene for the past 30 years with his paintings, drawings, and art performances. Pontet has been exhibiting his artwork since 1975 and has participated in more than 300 art shows, including workshops and live art performances. So his specific performances are called Impulse Art, and he performs them in several places, okay, alongside renowned musicians. Like, I'm talking like Grammy Award winners, okay? So, like Odmar Liebert, Roberto Pereira, Richie Cole, and this morning, the middle school students were lucky enough to listen to Latin Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award winner and violinist Federico Britos. So that was a huge deal. He couldn't be with you all this afternoon because he had a previous engagement, but he did stop by and he gave me a CD and he signed it. And it's, it's very cool, okay? So, and I'll let you all listen to it. Yes, if you come up to the dance room, I'll let you listen and dance a little. Okay, so, Daniel's current work is geared and produced through live performances along with music. These are art events that are created in a fashion and style known as action painting. And he's gonna get into it a little bit and talk about Jackson Pollock and all that stuff. Uh, where are my visual arts students? You should, you should all know about this stuff, right? Right? Okay. These works are associated with movements that were born in the 1950s. What is unique about these performances, as a, as, and is unlike what other artists do, is that other visual artists that participate in action painting or perform action painting use brushes and their hands, but Daniel uses his feet, okay? Pontet has brought a new element to this movement and produces all of his work with his feet, okay? He's also performed and exhibited works at international art fairs, such as the Americas, Art Americas Art Fair, and the Miami River Art Fair during Art Basel. He also performs his fusion of music and painting on the ground during the Downtown Hollywood Art Walk, and that is once a month. So if you're interested in checking him out again, you can go ahead and probably Google that, uh, that arts festival. It takes place once a month, and he always performs at that festival, okay? He was awarded first prize in the Miami division of the National 2004 Hispanic Mural Program with his painting called The Green Miami. Pontet has also been honored with a, var a variety of national and international prizes and acknowledgements, but the coolest one is that in 2010, the, F the Fusion Arte Association named him one of the top 100 Latinos in Miami. Yeah. And there's like a lot of Latinos in Miami, so that's like a big deal, yes? Okay. All right, Daniel, bienvenido, un placer. Thank you. Los chicos un poquito. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. I have the honor to be here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Daniel, do you need me? Do you want to do English? Or yeah, prefer? English is okay. Okay, so if then I'm going to... If you understand gonna... me, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> if no, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the first question... Um, y vamos a hacerlo cortito para poderte preguntar las cinco cosas. Um, is, how does the idea come up, the inspiration come up for these performances? Well, the, the feet painting actually started as a joke. 
after I, oh uh, really, uh, I was painting since I was three, and uh, I spent my whole life uh, doing like a regular or conventional painting with brushes, like uh, all the artists. But uh, one day I was performing with music for 20 years, and after when I finished uh, one of my performances in a gallery, I say to people from the band, I'm bored to be painting with my hand and brushes. One day I will start with my feet. But I was actually was joking. But uh, people uh, from the band said, maybe it's a good idea. They said, no, I was kidding. You know, it was a big crowd of, over there. I feel like uh, I, I'm not sure if I want to do in front of people. I never try. But uh, they say, OK, I, I will try. <coughs> I took out one of my shoes. And for the first time in my life as an artist, I touched the paint. All the time, I was using brushes, something in between. And um, I started my story over there uh, with my feet. Was something decided, and also for uh, another reason, that it was uh, not only touching the paint for the first time, but for uh, let me that kind of performance, let me learn something else. I'm a kind of the artist that are doing hyper-realistic or realistic uh, works with a full of details. And uh, since I was uh, back home, our critic say, why do you give just one brush stroke instead to give a hundred? It's the same when you are writing, you hear that. Say, if you can say with one word what you will be writing a hundred words. Uh, so in another words, is simplifying your work. So that is something that I can do with my feet uh, because of the limitation that you have in your foot. I can learn something else in my career as an artist. So now, right now, the funny story is I'm, I still work, I, I mean, I'm doing performance with feet, with uh, music, but I still work in my studio, doing paintings with brushes, but uh, I start a, like a new life for me in my studio with brushes because I'm start to learn from my feet. That is something weird. Very cool, I'm, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and I want to, and I want to explain a little bit why I'm, I'm using music because I, I, I use music all the time, also in my studio, and it's part of my painting. It's a kind of like a, I call this like a fusion of uh, music uh, and painting, and um, it's a kind of interaction. And it's, it's part, I mean, it's, it's a kind of, uh, like I'm painting the music. And, uh, and I have another funny story. I, when I was a kid, uh, six years old or something like that, when I, I started the school, I wanted to be a musician, but I'm terrible. <laughs> so the first, the first day, uh, I think it was uh, first grade or second grade, uh, the music teacher was playing piano, and I had to do the do re mi fa going up and down. Y'all know that. When I open, when I open my mouth, the teacher say, "Get out of here." <laughs> but I say, "No, I'm a musician." I feel so frustrated. I was trying also with my friends, hanging out with them, and I was trying. You know, when you have like a party, and somebody is playing guitar or, mm -hmm. or something, and I was joining them and singing. And everybody say, you know, when I was 16, they say, get out of here too. <laughs> I feel so frustrated. When I was uh, 20, 20 something, I started hanging out with my friends. But at that time, they were drinking. And I was drinking too. <laughs> so the funny thing was, oh, most of them, they become drunk and also say, get out of here. <laughs> So I become so frustrated, I said, maybe I'll, I'll put my life just only to do the painting. But uh, you know, this is a funny story because uh, at the end, I finished painting the music. Yes. So I feel Love like that. a musician. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I love so, that. 
So now I want to talk about the uh, action painting. Okay, so the next question is, um, I'm pi we're picking his brain a little bit about action painting so that you can understand the inspiration behind his work and how he got started. But I really love Dilo de Nuevo, I like that. He's a musician, like, he paints the music. That's so cool, guys. Uh, yeah? I, That's very I, cool. I, at the beginning, I was saying that I was inspired by the music, uh -huh. but actually, I'm painting the music. You're painting the music. That's I'm very a musician, cool. musician with colors. <laughs> very cool. Uh, I want to explain what kind of art is that, that, that one. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning, uh, probably the first year, everybody see. Who knows about action painting? Raise your hand. Hi, so I can see. So he can see you guys. Raise it. Even if it's a little bit. Even if it's a little bit. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. okay. Uh, when I started, I actually was trying like, for something fun. Uh, I took like as a hobby doing performance everywhere at the beginning without realizing that I was doing a, a kind of art, a specific kind of art. The, I, I actually, I didn't create anything. It's just um, uh, how I can say that. Um, I, I, I put a name to my performance, it is uh, Impulse Art Experience. But actually it came from the uh, action painting. On the 1950, um, there was a, after when the Second World War was finished in Europe, it was in crisis. And uh, here we were more relaxing and um, and I started a movement named uh, 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 American Abstract Art. But after an uh, um, uh, art critic, uh, Rosenberg, defined the movement. They say that is very important for me because, I mean, you were studying art, uh, art history, and he say from the caveman to the 20th century, all the artists, all the art movement were concerned about the image that you are getting from your painting. You know, different style, Renaissance time, impression, expression, all different kind of art. All the, all the goal was get how you represent the image, abstract, realistic, with uh, lights and shadow, whatever, or colors. Everything was the image itself. But uh, after that movement, the 50, Everything changed. It's before and after. What is the most important in this kind of performance is the artist itself. The canvas is just the witness that the artist encountered the paint. The fight between the artist and the paint, the canvas is just something else, just only a record that the artist was there when it was performed. Very so, cool. I mean, so like performance, so a performance art. A performing right. art, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, is, that is the way. Uh, probably the, the most popular uh, artist is Jackson Pollock. You have a movie, I recommend to watch the movie to have an idea. I don't know if you know Jackson Pollock, but I, I recommend you, invite you. How many of you have read or, or researched or looked up Jackson Pollock? Okay, there we go, yes. Well, you, you ha we have some educated children here. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yes. <laughs> well, I invite you to search a little bit about action painting because it was a big movement on the 50s and it, and it still is, is here. Awesome. So, and also read about uh, Jackson Pollock too. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. Now, so before, before we move on to the next section of this afternoon, yeah, just a little tidbit. I know that Daniel explained that he's still painting and doing, um, and you know, using brushes and hands and stuff uh, at home and when he works in his workshop on other uh, projects, but he has dabbled as a performing artist, an art educator, a sketch artist for courthouses. That's kind of cool, yes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm, I'm also, work I mean, it's no, I'm not only doing performances like you saw here, I'm doing sketches for the TV, for the media, uh, uh, working in the courthouse. I don't, probably you saw the news, some, you know, some sketches. You uh, all know what that is, right? Like what, when, you, when you sketch for the well, courthouse, the, like the when you watch the, the news? The yeah. thing is, uh, in the federal courthouse, they don't let people bring cameras. So that is a uh, word for me. You I'm working from right? Miami to West Palm Beach, covering the three uh, 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 counties. 
Oh, nice. Three con ca canis, yeah. Nice. Okay. And I also, uh, no? I'm still promoting myself. Yes. I, w I was going to promote you, but you can promote so yourself. So, the cool. another thing, I, I also am doing political cartoons. I was working oh. for the Miami Herald for 10 years. I'm doing illustration for publishers. I'm graphic doing design. Graphic I, I design. I have it here. I'm reading it off the Yeah, book. I'm doing everything in art. Also, I'm doing... Uh, murals. Murals. Yeah, I have a couple Sketchboards. I got you, boo. I got you. <laughs> oh, a couple of things, yeah. A lot of things. So let's give it up one more time for Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now... And a big thank you to my people there yes. that inspired me today. Yes. To the dancers. And a, quick, and a quick shout out to Dr. Sutton because Dr. Sutton... It, Dr. Dr. Sutton is friends with Daniel, and that's how we were able to connect and bring him in here to show his beautiful work to all of you. So, we're gonna try something. You see that there's a blank canvas, right? So we are going to have a visual arts student. Give it a shot, yeah? He has been he has been semi-coached by Daniel yesterday. They met, they spoke. Daniel gave him some advice, some pointers, what to do. Without further ado, let's present Mr. Gavin Grabernick. Popular, huh? Is he popular? Yeah? Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. Espérense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll let you do it in a minute. Here's what's gonna happen. Gavin is gonna be timed. He's got 10 minutes just like Daniel had. Daniel only painted in 10 minutes. He only had 10 minutes. Gavin is going to have 10 minutes. We're gonna time him, okay? Let's see what he can come up with. This is the most important thing I need from all of you. So can you hear me? Okay, this is the most important thing I need. I need you, I'm gonna give you a minute to cheer for him, get it out of your system, but when the music starts and he gets going, I want you to let him focus and give him as much space to focus, yes, so that he can be inspired by the music and the dancing that is happening around him and not by your booya. yes or no? Are you sure? So now get it out of your system. Okay, here we go.
Amazing. How did it feel? Hard. Are you tired? And but enter hard. Okay, difficult but entertaining. You what? You're never tired. That's a good thing. He's never tired, right? No. Okay. Okay. And did, but how was the experience? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? What do you think of Daniel's impulse art? Very active. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is on. Very good, huh? It's on. <laughs> Very good. Daniel, gracias por todo. Mira que lindo. Le quedó. Viste? All right. What do we say? Okay. Now, I'm going to do some housekeeping before we dismiss. All right. Your survey for next month's Mac Talk will be sent to your Google Classrooms. Okay? Make sure you fill it out. Because if you don't fill it out and then you sit down and you don't like what you see, that one's on you. Okay? Yes? Vote for what you want to see. The next thing on Friday is free play from 3 to 5 because it is Latinx Heritage Month. The theme is Latin music. Come play with us. Come have a good time. Please email me if there is any kind of specific performance or anything you want to do. But again, Dr. Sutton is hooking it up with some special guests for Friday, so you don't want to miss it. And give me a second, Jacob. And finally, I want to credit all of the amazing students that worked today towards uh, our episode two. Yes? I'm going to drop some names. If you let me read the whole list and you can clap later, it will be done faster than if you clap in between. Does that sound like a good deal? All right. So representing photo, we have Lexi Acevedo, Zion Matthews. Representing percussion, Blake Diaz, Uliana Koshechkina, Matias Quinteros, Brenton Hanfield, Christopher Villanueva, and Dr. Sutton. Representing dance, we have Ingela Alvarado, Victoria Rodriguez, Kaylee Sedano, and Andrea Puche. Representing visual arts, we have Taina Rocha, Danae Cuenca, Gavin Grabernick, Sofia Mijares, Tayani Morales, and Tomas Vaquero. Representing chorus, we have Miguel Romero and his crew. His guest, his guest Ernesto Gonzalez, Elaya, and, and his crew, Nicolás Vázquez, José David Soto, and Sam Campo. Our Mac Talks crew today. Zoe Hyman, Madison Simon, Angelina Vernon, Willow Barbie, Pablo Carrillo, Juliana Llanos, and Ethan Sisko. Last, last but definitely not least, turn around. Hi, Ashley. All right, it has been a pleasure to work with you all and enjoy this episode today. Before we go, let's give Miss Ford a big round of applause for hosting Mac Talk episode Ghosts.